Hello and welcome to the Forensic Fiend YouTube channel. What I'm going to show you today is how I created the evidence using Mozilla Firefox in its private browsing mode. In order to access the private browsing mode in Mozilla Firefox, we need to open Mozilla Firefox open first. Then click on the Firefox tab at the top left hand corner and click, click Start Private Browsing. You will get this message the first time, but just click Continue. Okay, so this is the page for Start Private, Start Private Browsing. In comparison to the Internet Explorer, one, it is similar. It does tell you that you are in private browsing mode. It's going to enter the URL for the test website, jamus.uclan.ac.uk forward slash zpatel7 forward slash public underscore html forward slash index.html. That brings the home page for the test website. The home page just contains HTML text. It's relatively simple. Okay, so hopefully we'll create an artifact for the home page. And then we'll move over to the video page. You can see the links for each page at the top. Okay, so click on the video page. Okay, and then we're going to play the video for a few minutes. Hopefully this will create some artifacts in relation to the video in the Firefox cache, I'm hoping. Okay, it's gonna pause the video now. Right, okay, so we're done for, we're done with this page in order to generate the evidence. We're gonna move over to the image page next. Okay, so on the image page we've just got an image. Hopefully that will create some evidence as well for us. The reason why I keep saying hopefully is because we are in private browsing mode and we need to justify where the private browsing does store these sort of artifacts. Now we're on the form page, we're going to enter some details similar to what we did in the previous previous um, browser in normal Firefox and in Internet Explorer. Forensic Fiend as a name. The email address is forensicfiend at gmail.com and it's going to put in a comment Mozilla Firefox in private browsing mode and we're going to click send. Um, it does give you an option for to select an email client, but we don't have one installed, so we're just going to click cancel. Okay, then we're going to move over to the cookie page of the test website. This is a blank page, and it creates a PHP cookie uh, with a life of twenty, uh, with the life of one hour. Okay, so what we've done there is we've created evidence for the whole website in one go. What I'd like you to do is create it individually if you want to carry out the same experiment. Thank you for watching Forensic Fiend.